To go bow for the result, oh. nothing to discuss, oh. cause I think when you buy it default and without any doubt, oh. I'm a me happy adult, oh. I no go feed the girl, I no go feed the girl, it's out, oh. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, I know y'all miss me and I miss y'all too, Charlie. Y'all know it's not easy out here, so sometimes um I get busy with stuff and that's the reason why I don't post like I used to. But um, I still try to, to find um, the time to squeeze in the YouTube videos. And so today we're going to talk about um, eyebrow, the um, semi-permanent eyebrow, temporary eyebrows. That's what I want us to talk about today. Just like what you have here. Can you see that? Yeah. So, um... I have videos and I want to show you how I achieve this look. So let's get the ball rolling. I'm going to start a video and then I'll explain whilst you're watching the video. So, so first of all, you need an eyebrow pencil and your eyebrow trimmer. You also need um, a spoolie brush to comb through the eyebrow and um, a Q-tip. I'll show you what it's used for and an orange stick. So these are the things I used to achieve um, that beautiful eyebrow. You also need a rubbing alcohol. So first of all, I'm going to start with the rubbing alcohol. What I did with rubbing alcohol is I applied it to the eyebrow. All what I'm trying to do is to dry out the oils around the eyebrow and to also remove any impurities I have on the eyebrow so that it would last for a while. And the duration of this temporary eyebrow is at most a week that is how long it can last now you comb through your eyebrow with a spoolie brush as you can see i'm trying to shape out the eyebrow and then trim all the unwanted hairs around it with my trimmer so if you can't do this just go to the salon and get it trimmed and then come do it if you cannot do this thing don't try doing it go to a professional let a professional do it for you. So you first trim the eyebrow, make sure you've removed all the unwanted hairs before you start your process. So all what I'm trying to do is to get a precise eyebrow. So I'm still trimming out all the unwanted eyebrows from the, from the hair. So you also comb downwards, just that is all about precision. We're just trying to get a beautiful, well-defined eyebrow. So you trim out all the unwanted hairs. Just make sure you're trimming. Keep trimming and trimming and trimming until you get the desired shape and the desired thickness and fullness before you start your process. So next thing that you do is the eyebrow mapping, as you can see. So you start from the bridge of your nose to the forehead. Just make sure you're getting a straight line. And then from the sides of your nose to the eyebrow. Now we're using an orange stick. What is orange stick used for? This is what I use my orange sticks for. I don't throw them away and I don't just use them for manicure or pedicure. I use them for trimming eyebrows, bringing out shapes and making a precise or defined line. So first of all, I map my eyebrow. I start from the, the, the starting point is always the bridge of the nose, then the sides of the nose, and then the angle from the nose to the eye or the arc, and then the corners of the eye. Just as you see me doing in the video. So that is how you map your eyebrow. And I chose to use a white, a white brow pencil just so the lines could come out clear. Now, after doing the mapping, make sure you're getting all the size correct because nobody, want, nobody wants to walk around with um, one eyebrow facing the north and the other one facing the south. Or one in Wagadugu and the other one in Burkina. <laughs> so just make sure that you have a precise eyebrow. So take your time and watch the way I am also taking my time to draw this eyebrow. 
because I am all about precision, 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 precision. No, eyebrow is a, let me say, the basis for a beautiful makeup. If your work is going to be beautiful, it starts from your eyebrow. So the moment you feel the eyebrow, just know that any other thing that you're about to do is going to be whack because your eyebrow is not correct. And if the eyebrow is not correct, no matter how good you are with the foundation application, whatever is still going to betray you and you're still going to get a bad outcome. So just take your time and draw the eyebrow. Make sure it's precise. And if your eyebrow is good, you can even go about your daily activities without foundation or anything. So I am very particular about the eyebrow because I always want to get that defined, beautiful shape. Just erase everything and then you can prepare the brows for the tint or whatever you want to use for your eyebrow but just make sure you have a beautiful, straight, not edgy or curved eyebrow. You have um, a beautiful, precise brow shape and everything like that. I'm sure you see a difference in the eyebrows. One looks curved and the other looks um, edgy. So that means we need to correct the edgy part before we start. Or somebody can also reason that eyebrows are not the same. They are twins. They are non-identical twins. So it doesn't matter if one is, is edgy and the other one is curved. But if you are concerned with your looks, then you will correct it before you proceed. So once you are okay with your eyebrow, you can start the process. So first of all, I'm going to protect the edges with my Vaseline. Vaseline is jelly and because of that the product or the bleach is not able to extend even if it does because of the grease It's not able to um, Overlap and that is the reason why before you start this process You need to rub or you need to wipe any excess oil or sebum or anything like that on the eyebrow because the grease doesn't work with um, the product we are using and when that happens, when the, the two comes together, what happens is the grease rubs off the the product and it doesn't, the dye, and it doesn't last. Because the whole idea is to stain the skin. What I use is called Rectosil. It is a renowned brand for, brand for um, tinting the eye, eyebrow. So I use just a little, a small portion of the Rectosil and I mix it or dilute it with um, a developer which is also 30 percent volume so i i mix the two together and then apply once you mix you need to use immediately so do not mix um a larger amount or a larger quantity because the longer it lasts the 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 weaker the product becomes so the moment you mix it it goes straight to the eyebrow so do not mix um, a larger amount and say you want to use for both eyebrows. Do the other eyebrow when you're ready to mix. Do not mix and keep because the strength of it is going to reduce. So just a small amount, apply it to the eyebrow and then start filling it in. Just take your time and do it. Now with the help of my brow brush, I gently sweep it. I started from the end of my eyebrow because that is where I don't have enough hair. So that's where my concentration is, the ends of the eyebrow. So do it slowly, gently. Don't, don't worry about the color of it. It looks brownish, but it's actually dark brown. And as it keeps drying, it gets darker. So you do it slowly and gently from starting from the bottom and now we're here or so you start from the bottom and walk your way through to the front the front already has a lot of hair so you don't really have to do so much just a little at the front but the main attention is um the back because we want to get something precise and beautiful then you repeat the same for the other part just take your time, sweep the product gently to the to the tip or the end, the tail of the eyebrow, 
and work your way to the front. So always start from the bottom. Started from the bottom, now we here. A, A, A. Started from the bottom, now we up. E, E, E. Started from A, 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 A. Yeah, so do it slowly and work your way all the way to the front. But make sure you utilize the product. Make sure you use everything you've got in that bottle or container. Just use everything. So apply everything, make sure you're using everything you mixed, do not throw some away. So once you're convinced that you're okay with the shape, you can proceed with a Q-tip. Use a Q-tip to clean any excess that you have around the eyebrow. Remove every excess you have around the eyebrow because the whole idea is to get a precise shape and so nobody want to walk around with um a non-uniform eyebrow or one heading to the north and one to the south so always make sure you have a precise eyebrow with a snatched um act and all that so take your time keep doing repeat this process over and over and over again until you're sure that you've used everything that you got i think we're good to go now too much product and the design is already coming on nicely so just clean the excess clip keep wiping making sure you have a precise line take your time and then do it make sure that you have a very beautiful act with a precise line and you rinse it out so you rinse it out with um, a cotton wool and water just sweep it over the eyebrow like that and then remove it. now look at the finished work Look at that. Whoosh. No, nothing. No, nothing. This is what we call brow. Eyebrow snatched. So my eyebrow was snatched for like a week. And this is the end result. As you can see in the video. Feel free to like. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to comment. Leave a comment on the session down below. And ask me any question you want to ask about this um, uh, temporary eyebrow and I will answer you. So until then, thank you for liking, thank you for watching and thank you for um, sharing my videos and thanks for subscribing.